Hey guys, Nash here. So Android Q is launched few days ago and we already have Lineage OS 70 based on Android 10. In this video, I'm going to review this ROM and will let you know if you should install it or not. So let's get started. So guys, I installed this on my OnePlus 6 and it's completely stable so far. As you can see, everything is completely stable and smooth. Now let's go to about section and let me show you this is indeed Lineage OS based on Android 10 with the latest security patch of 5th September. So I installed this room yesterday and so far everything is working properly. Wi-Fi is working, I can connect my Bluetooth device, the camera is very basic in this room but it's working with the video recording but of course if you want you can install Gcam for better photos and videos. Now if you have ever installed LineageOS in the past, you might know LineageOS is not known for its features because LineageOS normally has very less features compared to other rooms like Resurrection Remix. So that's the same story with this build also. It doesn't have that many feature. But if you are looking for stable Android Q right now, then I highly recommend you to install this room. So there is new volume control slide here, when you tap here, it will show you a pop-up where you can control all your volumes from a single slide. So in the quick setting, you can find system wide dark theme which works great in this room. So this dark theme will be applied to all the supported apps. And there is also grayscale if you want to use it, personally I don't think it's much useful. So now whenever you get new notification, when you long press that, you get two options. One is alerting and the second one is silent. If you select silent, then all your notification for silent will be shown separately in the silent tab. So in this lineage OS, all kind of sensors like accelerometer, light proximity, gyroscope are working perfectly fine. There is no problem. But that doesn't mean this room is perfect. It has few bugs, but that won't stop you from using it. For example, digital well-being is not working. When you tap on that, it will crash. It just doesn't work. So now let's talk about the features. The new feature here is called Permission Manager. It's available in Privacy tab. When you tap on that, you can see which apps are using your call logs, camera, contacts, location, microphone, and many more things. Now let's see which apps are using my location. So as you can see, all the apps are denied except Google Play Store. And if I want, I can deny it to Google Play Store also. But as you can see, camera app is only allowed to use my location when that app is running. Now this feature is really useful if you're using some bad apps like Facebook. And there are very basic kind of features like status bar customization, you can customize your buttons. And that's it, as I said earlier, this room doesn't have that many features. So guys, this Lineage OS is unofficial right now, so it's only available for two phones, OnePlus 6 and OnePlus 6T. But don't worry, you can install Android Q GSI in other phones also. If you want to watch my Android Q GSI video, that will be available in description box below. And guys, if you want to see more Android Q rooms in the future, don't forget to press that bell icon. This is your friend Nas signing out, and I will see you tomorrow.